Hello, hello, hello. Hi there and welcome to this special live stream. And before I go any further, I wanted to come to you in white today as a symbol of purity. I wanted to come to you so that I was wearing white so that this is a representation of the light. And what I want to do is I want to let you know that as you join, whether you have come along live to actually impart this energy, I want to firstly tell you what the intention of this live stream is about. So this really big intention is to stop the fear that is now going on in the world. Fear is one of the darkest things that can wipe out people. And what I want to do is I want to say to you that fear wipes out success. Fear wipes out love. However, when you develop the kind of uh, the, the mantra that I'm going to actually decree today, I want to give a disclaimer that firstly, before I go on, um, this is not about making you bulletproof, nor is it about a, any kind of a proclamation that it changes the world. What it is, is it's your energy, my energy, the power of intention and the light that we collaboratively bring to the world together. It doesn't change the fact that you need to be vigilant during this time. You need to keep yourself clean. You need to have and, you know, honour what they are telling us to do so that we're not spreading it, so that it can be stopped. And our borders are already closed. So that means that we are being contained and we have every, every um, potential right now to allow this virus to be something that fizzles out. So I just want to come to you and I want to be able to bring this mantra and I want to decree this prayer. So I'm coming through a Zoom, which means that I won't be able to see who is actually watching. However, it's not important that I see you. It's not important that you see me. What is important is that the energy and the power of this together is going to bring a whole new energy to light to our world, okay? So it's about recognising the force between good and evil. And if you watch my live stream, my very casual live stream in my kitchen last night, I talked about the 16 laws of success. And there is a chapter called Outwitting the Devil. Now, I can't help thinking that this is an absolute appropriate chapter for us to read so that we can be aware of the evil forces that happen in the world. And it comes through by fear. And Napoleon Hill, the author who wrote Think and Grow Rich, he wrote this chapter, this powerful chapter, and he talked about the drifter and how people drift in and out of life. And I want to say to you that if you are watching and you are commenting and I can't see your comments, I want you to know that what's more important is that the energy of this planet is going to feel you, see you, and together we will rise. So as this, this whole virus is swooping right across the world and creating this havoc, this is not a time for people to be cashing in and making money on this. This is about a time where we can look at ourselves and ask ourselves the question to actually bring a better life to the world. So really what this is about is it's about taking mercy on those people that are being affected, being vigilant towards our elderly, um, our babies that have no immunity and the vulnerable. It's about thinking about our economy and the people that are suffering, the people that could lose their entire business. And my prayer today, my intention is to stop the fear and to raise the awareness 
and to collectively come together and through this prayer, mantra and chant, I'm going to tell you that I believe in God, okay? So God is the person that I'm putting in the centre of this. However, I want to respect you and your religion. So whatever your faith is, I just ask that you bring that to the forefront. Um, there is one thing for sure that this is energy, you guys. This is an energetic movement. And, you know, my heart goes out to brides who were getting married today um, where they suddenly just have to stop all their plans, you know, for people that are, are suffering. As far as the virus is concerned, yes, it is dangerous for many people. However, I believe that the fear around this has been escalated. I had a conversation this morning with someone who is actually renting out one of our properties and he has the coronavirus. So the first thing that I did was I spoke to him and asked him some questions. Do you know what his answer was? He said, Terry, I caught this through someone that came in from another place in the world. And because he was in that position, he picked up the virus. He has a family, a wife, and he said it's just like he's got the worst flu in the world. Now, that might be the case, but there are some people who cannot tolerate that kind of thing. So if you agree that we need to stop the fear because no amount of fear is going to change anything, if you agree that you would like to see the other side of this and for us to rise and for this to be fizzled out, I want to take you through this very special little presentation that I'm giving to you um, from my heart, because as you know, I am a light worker. I am a therapist. I am a world-class master trainer. And, you know, that means that when someone is in my privileged position, this is not about money. This is not about cashing in on something that is an absolute nightmare. What it is, is it's about reaching into our hearts and souls and doing everything we can to give because when you give and you contribute and you ask yourself the question, what can I do to ensure that my life, my family is protected? What can I do to ensure that I'm in the right path so that my career is not going to be affected? You need to become creative. You need to allow your mind to move into a different direction so that you can release the fear and come into the light and love. So if you agree with me and you would like to do this, I would like to start off by saying to you that we need to surrender. And surrender is really the only element that can happen right here and now because surrendering means that there is no amount of fear, there is no amount of anything within us as human beings that can stop this. Energetically though, prayerfully, we can move as a nation, a globe and a whole entire universe and rise in the light that we can pray that there will be a cure. We can pray that there will be a, a, a resolution, a revelation, a great Thing that is going to happen. So the one way of doing this, and I know as a, as a lifestyle coach that this is powerful. So I'm going to ask you to join with me and visualize. I want you to not take this as a time to be judgmental or to be listening to this so you can just hear what I'm about to say, because I don't have any specific powers any greater than you. So what I do have is I have the ability to work with energy. I have the ability to ask you, what could be the higher purpose for your life? What is it gonna mean when you're on the other side of this and you have been able to come through? Is it gonna mean that you're gonna have more gratitude? Is it gonna mean that your vibration is gonna rise because maybe you were in a bad place anyway and this may have given you a whole different perspective? Maybe there is a question you can ask and ask yourself, what 
can happen in my life that is going to change the trajectory rapidly and ascend me, ascend me to the next level. Because out of something negative, if you have the right mindset, there will always be something positive. So I'm just going to draw a breath and get ready to go through this decree. Ah, do we have anybody watching, Ian? I just want to send many thanks to you for the people that are watching. I hear there's 11 of you. You are powerful creatures. I know there's many light workers. I know that Joanna Cameron was all also going to be a part of this. And this lady is a very powerful energy healer. So I really want to say thank you. And may we now just come together and I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine that you are rising. I want you to imagine that you are rising outside of your physical body. And if you've never done this before, just imagine, just humor me as you rise up. So if you're in any pain, if you're in any fear, you will suddenly be able to release from the physical body that you're in because this physical body is just your vehicle. And so within and so without. So as you rise up, I want you to imagine that you are now moving outside and you are looking across your suburb or the suburb that you're in. I want you to rise up even higher. So now that you are rising, you are going into a place where you're bypassing the birds of the air. You can even hear them and you're rising and you're playing. You're kind of swimming and floating, almost as if you are now in a swimming pool and you're a child and your body is effortless and you've become infinitely supple, flexible and youthful. And therefore you're twirling in space, feeling so free. And you're looking down on your physical body and the place that you left as you keep on rising because you're gonna return with so much love and power. Now rise up just a little further so that you are now at one with the clouds. And the clouds are cold and yet you're in a timeless space where you feel fresh and it's almost like you are being rebirthed. It's like you are going through a renewal and suddenly you are looking down and you see the whole nation. And then you rise up and you look across and you see the whole globe and all of a sudden it is timeless. Now just take in a deep breath. I want you to know that all things come and go. Seasons come, seasons go. Days of the week come, days of the week go. And even people come and people go. And so in this infinite space, I want you to know that there is no time, there is no age, there is no nothing. It's like a meaningless space of nothing that is everything. I want you to imagine that you are connecting with the sun. And as you connect with the sun, it is healing every part of your entire being. And as you do this now, I want you to decree and say or go along with this prayer with me. I decree it before God above. You may decree it before what you believe in. However, I respect that and I ask that in your own perfect space of time of where you are, I want you to imagine a golden light all around you. I want you to imagine that you do have power. I want you to imagine because you are outside the world that you are able to look across and see all the people. And I want you to now say this after me. I decree to dissolve, clear and transmute any negative energy from my home, my work, my family and my life. And so it is, breathe in and breathe out and just play as you now are floating up above with not a care in the world, just feeling so free. And now for the next decree. I decree to acknowledge 
that through all bad things, there is good things. I decree to transmute any negative energy into great loving power. Breathe in and breathe out. And just be playful and continue to know and understand that you are energetically above time and you are now looking down and you're seeing the whole world and knowing that you can understand you will have this inner peace, this inner love and this inner faith to understand that all that was when you were on that earth will one day be gone. And when you come back down into your present self in just a little while, you will come down with this amazing faith, this amazing love. And in the meantime, your whole being is being completely transmuted, renewed, purified and born again. So as we come towards the end of this decree, I want you to say this, I decree for this time to pass that is on the earth and that I will rise, I will learn and I will see the goodness of the world and I will rise to a whole new level. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, when you come down, I want you to think about what you are going to energetically vibrate at. So love, what does love feel like? How do you know when you feel love? Let's place love into your divine being. Let's place courage. What does it look like for you to have courage? What do you say when you are courageous? What do you feel in your body? And finally, let's place confidence. Confidence that is going to bring you peace. So this confidence, this faith and this love, I want you to imagine a colour, a beautiful colour. And that colour is now all around you and you can feel it. And I want you to, to decree, I am courage, I am love, I am faith, I am peace and confidence. And so it shall be. Now I want you to imagine your magical colour. You are sprinkling it on the entire planet. You are now sprinkling it onto all of the economy, across the economy, across all the businesses, across all the people that you love, across the world. You are energetically contributing to this divine prayer and mantra. And I thank you, God, that you have anointed and appointed and put this onto my heart to come live and impart this to as many people. And I ask that if you share this, that even if you watch this on the replay, this will have just as much power and we will allow the, the colour of that energy to now create a whole new vibration and frequency. And as you come down, let's come back down to your space, coming down from five, coming down with this whole new rebirth, four, coming down with this renewed mindset, three, coming back with this purified heart, mind and soul, two, getting ready to now be in your divine physical body and be alert, awake, lucid, laser focused and absolutely blessed. Well, my name's Terry Messenger and I want to thank you for being part of this and at 12 o'clock today, which is just over half an hour, there is a prayer for Christians. So if you can pray that prayer at 12 noon or wherever you are in the world, just in, just in over half an hour, it'll be on the next hour, and then let's collaborate, 
let's make a change and I am sending you so much love. I'm sending you so much love, inspiration, groundedness, and here's to your life transcending rapidly because you actually went through this negative time. So thank you. Much love to you. Talk soon. See you later.